um, as Jeff launched last year. And um, it's not just aimed at the younger demographic, but we just tried to identify um, things that weren't represented as well as they could be in the Isle of Man when we launched. And we thought that the kind of the youth movement wasn't as well represented in awards and individuals probably weren't getting the rec recognition recognition they um, deserved, especially people like entrepreneurs and sports people, individuals who are going above and beyond, not just a, like education as well, but people outside of that who might not be following sort of the traditional stereotypical past. We thought it'd be nice to recognise them as a collective and nice to do it in a way where it's not um, exclusive and that there's one winner we can recognize a whole group of people so that's why i'm 30 under 30. certainly in the radio in industry i know we have certain awards uh industry awards where they have been recognizing 30 under 30 for some years is was it taken from any other bodies that you've seen or was it just something that you thought would fit here yeah i think the most popular version of it is probably from forbes and that's more for kind of like recognizing um entrepreneurs really and sort of yeah just thought leaders and leaders in different industries and yeah something there just wasn't anything of its ilk in the Isle of Man and we thought at the time when we started Jeff it was a very exciting time we were getting to meet a lot of people young people who were doing amazing things and they just didn't fit into kind of like the stereotypical buckets that where you'd receive public recognition so it just all came together quite nicely from that. Well, what could you give us some examples then of the kinds of things that we might not expect to see on the list or, or the kinds of things, the areas which maybe have been underserved in, in awards? Yeah, I mean, Matt and I were lucky enough to sit in on some of the judging um, yeah. that happened and there was quite a few individuals that we'd never heard of before that were were local to the island but doing stuff off island, like some of the um, illustrators and artists that were um, selling their kind of images and stuff elsewhere um that you hadn't had had or seen any coverage whatsoever on the isle of man yeah. um, and there's probably a couple of people like that that were kind of promoting the island elsewhere but maybe weren't getting the recognition or cover over here so not necessarily just the entrepreneurs and stuff but yeah the artists and the sports people it was quite interesting 